Are you working on a multi-threaded server app and feeling confused about using FireDAC for data access? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the best practices for using FireDAC in a multi-threaded environment. I totally understand how challenging it can be to manage database connections in a multi-threaded application. It's a common concern among developers and getting it right is crucial for performance and stability. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is my approach to using FireDAC valid when I can't control thread creation? They are concerned about accessing the same connection and query objects from multiple threads. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the issue here? The documentation clearly states that the same TFD connection and TFD query should not be accessed from multiple threads simultaneously. This can lead to unexpected behavior and performance issues. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can significantly improve your app's performance when using FireDAC. To begin addressing the user's question, we need to ensure that each thread has its own instance of the TFD connection and TFD query objects. This prevents any potential conflicts when multiple threads access these objects simultaneously. Next, the user should modify their execute SQL procedure to create the TFD connection and TFD query objects within the procedure itself. This way, each call to execute SQL will have its own instances, ensuring thread safety. Additionally, the user should consider using a connection pool to improve performance. By setting up a pooled connection definition, the physical connections are reused, which can significantly reduce overhead. Finally, the user should ensure that they properly manage the lifecycle of the TFD connection and TFD query objects. They should close and free these objects after use to prevent memory leaks. Fun fact, did you know that multi-threading can significantly speed up applications? But if not managed properly, it can also lead to chaos, like trying to juggle while riding a unicycle. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user confirms that the approach of creating a new TFD connection and TFD query for each request is valid, but it does come with a performance penalty due to the overhead of establishing connections and preparing queries. They suggest using connection pooling to mitigate this issue. Additionally, they recommend preparing the query when a client connects and destroying it when they disconnect. This way, the prepared query can be reused reducing the overhead for subsequent requests. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always ensure that your database connections are properly managed and pooled. This simple practice can save you from a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. By following these guidelines, you can effectively use FireDAC in your multi-threaded app. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on optimizing your applications.